How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Mm. And this is my second time now waking up in Grace. Oh, I am at Hotel Walmart, as you can see. I just got back from BC yesterday. I was out there with my little girl and my friend for a about a week, which was really nice. Didn't do any filming, just enjoyed living, and it was great. So forgive me, I might be a little rusty. It's gonna take me a minute or two to shake that off when it comes to filming, but yeah, definitely learning things now. Well, I learned things from my first time sleeping in her when uh, the last video ended. That's what I was doing, was falling asleep for the very first time back here. And the first thing was, sheet is unnecessary the heated blanket is great if you're laying on top of it um so that's what i did this time last time i used it to cover my body and it and i was using a power bank to power it nay those power banks don't last long enough to like go the whole night so number one i laid on top of it this time and i have my weighted blanket as my top cover and up here in the driver's seat, I swapped out my large Vita bin for my smaller one, much better. And this was at 100% when I went to sleep last night. All night, you can see, went down to 84%, and that was with the blanket on max. So, Vita bin, bigger power station, mucho better. In terms of actually like the space back here, it ain't great. It's a Jeep Wrangler. And I'm a, I'm a tall gentleman. So, uh, the first night I tried to get it so my head was like behind one of the seats. And I was trying to stretch my feet out to the corners of the, the Jeep in the back here. And I could never get fully stretched out. My first thought last night was I was going to sleep with my head at that end. And then my feet could come up like between the seats here. As you can see, I did not do that. And I actually just positioned, I just slid the seats as forward as I could this time. And didn't care about the gap they would create. Just stuff the pillows here between the seats and it was much better. I can actually, I'm fully stretched out right now. My feeties are, you know, up to the tailgate, but this is still a much more comfortable position. The mattress that I'm using this, let's just do it on this side, there's more light. The mattress, the air beds that I've talked about in a previous few videos, great. Has not, you know, like my biggest concern with mattresses is that they lose uh, air throughout the night. This air bed mattress, even in the cold weather here, uh, no, not at all. Still is just as inflated as it was when I went to sleep. So it's awesome for sure, but I knew that from uh, my experience with it last time. Might be a different story if it was like minus 40 degrees outside, but um, if it was minus 40 degrees outside, I probably wouldn't be sleeping inside the Irish Pirate Queen. Always got the one foot out. Ridiculous. It's not a bad little setup in here. I got my flashlight up here i do have the bio light from last time as well it's still in my backpack discovered i didn't really need it not sure if these will turn on oh they still do these lights that are in the jeep they're they're fine but i did discover after a while they time out when the vehicle's not running and you can't turn them back on until you start the vehicle again so not as convenient as you might think so some sort of light source is great i also have my light kit back here from my my parents um the nebo one if I needed, but yeah, with these bags back here, I got a nice little, nice little setup. I got my glasses handy, uh, my wallet tucked away, my tens machine. I got my switch over here, my shower wipes. Those things are great. Again, used them to wash my face last night, just like last time. So of course, without fail, I've got my Dixon flannel tucked away in the back, which is nice because honestly, these covers are great. The covers themselves work really well. The suction cups leave a lot to be desired. They are some of the worst suction cups I've ever seen, and they just stop working, even when I, you know, all over them. I don't know what it is. Some of them have just, have, some of them have just given up the ghost. And anyways, so they don't always stick. There, see, that one sticks for a bit and then it comes off. But stuffing something in the corner here helps keep them sort of pressed against the windows for that, that privacy you might be looking for. Uh, Grace has very tinted windows here in the back, so right now I'm just enjoying the morning rays. And the sights of Hotel Walmart. This heated blanket, Gobi is the brand. I got it from Craze Outdoors. If you're looking for stuff like that, I highly recommend checking them out. There's a link to their website for Canadian ordering in the description of the video. 
uh, but I will turn it off now just because I'm getting gonna start to get ready to go. Uh, getting dressed in here was a lot easier than I thought. I have more headroom than I suspected. Yes, obviously I have to crunch over and whatnot, but for the in a pinch moments that I'm sleeping in grace, it's, it's, it's not half bad. And actually, where's my water bottle? I could use a little morning pick me up. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Perfect. This has picked up some vitamin water last night, and this... Uh, oh, just dropped my keys. So, as comfortable as I am, and as great as the heated blanket is, this is my tripod that I usually have my phone in when I'm filming, um, there does come a time in the evening where you just, you lose a lot of the heat, right? The window blockers, let's get serious, are more so for, for privacy than anything else. They're not actually going to retain heat. They'll probably do a better job at keeping heat out in the summer. So it gets cold in here. So this is what I do. Ugh, I've got, uh, well, last time I had my magnet mount tripod pressing against the clutch. But you can see that little red spot right there. That's actually a, uh, a snow brush. Hang on. I gotta reposition myself here. So there's a snow brush on the clutch. So when it gets uh when it gets too chilly, I let's go over here and there we go. Fires right up, and then Grace will get nice and warm. But for now, that was just for demonstration purposes. I don't need John right now. Go back to sleep. I'm sure she loves that. <sighs> So the first time I stayed in Grace, um, I stayed at a place where there was no, like, place to use the washroom. Well, there was, but the place closed a lot earlier and it opened a lot later. So Hotel Walmart, especially when I'm in the Jeep, is great because they're open until about 10 p.m. I say about. They are open until 10 p.m., uh, which is great. Time it well. Run in there right around close to use the washroom. And now they I've actually I was able to get a little bit of long, longer sleep this time which is great but they've been open since 7 a.m um i don't have to drive anywhere last time i woke up it was early the place where i was wasn't open i cut my finger what the heck what did i cut you on is there a knife lying around somewhere i wouldn't be surprised ow it's a good thing i have band-aids in here but anyways they've been open since about seven and i can just wander on in where i was last time i had to wake up tear all of the blockers off and drive to a, a Walmart, which is a, a different location than the one I am at now. Owie. Okay, well, I'm going to deal with my boo-boo. And then uh, we'll have to do a wander on into Walmart. How prepared I was. Did I put... Those are my meds. Oh, shucks. Because I know I have Band-Aids in my, uh, my big duffel bag that I usually have for these trips, but... I don't have my duffel, I just have the tiny, the tiny. I have the backpack, not the duffel. Darn it. As much as I said there was more room in here than I thought there was, it's not like it's a insane amount. Okay, now, getting out of here and getting my shoes on, that's a completely different story. So, there's no way for me to do it. Well, I could probably leave, no, I can't leave. That's right, I can't leave through the back there's no way to open up the tailgate once you're in here. So you gotta go out through one of the doors. And my shoes, there's only one place for them to go and that's for them to live down here. Wait a second, did I shove one down there? I'm always shoving things in holes. All right, so there's one. Uh, and the other one, yeah, that's right there. Okay, so we're going to, oh, we better. Oh, well, that's weird. I thought she was unlocked. The first night I slept in her, um, when I tried to start her in the middle of the night, she wouldn't start. And I thought I had discovered that it was because um, she was locked. So I had to use the fob to unlock her and, uh, and then she started up no problem. But I don't know, she's not starting now. See, it's not that big. Hang on, I gotta find my keys. Oh okay, yeah, now she's unlocked. I'm going to open this door. What oh, a beautiful day. All right, swing your legs. Oy. Oy. There you go. Grab that first boot. Oh, it's nice, but it's, yeah, get a little windy out here. Normally this is where I'd be. I'd get outside, do an exterior shot. I'm getting out of the vehicle. With how high up I'm on this mattress, 
I don't see it worth it to go out there, set up the camera, and climb back up here. So, we're just gonna do it this way. Reach down here. Find that other boot. <sighs> That's the cable for the heated blanket. <laughs> just on. Now we can come out. <sighs> See? Much easier. Hat. Flannel. Window blocker. Good morning, world. Yeah, this power cable for the heated blanket is great. It comes with this extension, so unplug this. Just USB-C to USB-C, male to female, having some fun. There's a little cap that comes with this side where you need to wash the blanket. I can just undo that. I can unzip this, stuff the cord back in there, put the blanket away. And then this cable, ooh, well, actually, that big cable, I would just store inside the blanket as well for transportation purposes. It's just plugged in up here to the Vitamin. For now, I can, well, yeah, let's unplug it so I can move the Vitamin. But like I said, I would usually store that cable away. However, uh, I'm actually gonna make the bed and we're gonna leave it as is because chances are I'm not gonna make it all the way back to New Denver today. We drove in yesterday and we had to go the long way, which is the south way. All right, maybe the air mattress lost the tiniest bit of air. No problem. Inflate it back up, darling. That was literally it. Anyways, we had to go that south way because winter had blown back into the province of British Columbia again yesterday and the Rogers Pass between Revelstoke and Golden was apparently under a huge winter storm warning and then the pass itself actually ended up getting closed because of some like horrible accident with a semi i think so it was a good call that i made to go that south route however dead we adds two hours to the trip if you don't stop so all in all with all of the stops we did make it was about a 12 hour day in the car now i need to get my butt back to bc obviously but i'll be leaving later because my physical therapy appointment is in about half an hour and then I gotta get over to my mailbox and then I can hit the road and that'll just be probably closer to 10, 30, 11. I'm not so sure I'm gonna wanna drive all the way through, especially if the weather that existed yesterday still exists because as much as we made it here safe and sound, that south route, yeah, it was battered by the winter storm just as much. So if we left earlier, we probably could have made it through the pass before all of the S hit the F. All that is to say, I may have to stay somewhere overnight in Grace. We will leave the bed made and we'll just sort of pile up what we need to pile up, like car seats. Uh, probably like this. There we go. <sighs> you know what, maybe we'll move the pillows back here too, so if I need to reach back, <laughs> get anything I'll be able to. Bring the wolf pack back here as well. Put it behind the passenger seat. Sorry, knocking you around a little bit. My apologies. Take your morning medicine. I need water to do that. Oh yeah. I can't very well drive with a vitamin here. So you put that there. This thing's way better. I say way better. It's still large. So I got my eye on that cute little Jackery down at Craze Outdoors. Um, maybe it's just, oh, road snackies from yesterday, which will now be road snackies from today. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> so this, <laughs> the snow brush is doing work. And you can see, look at the curve on it. It's obviously not the most structurally sound snow brush, but it's pressed in that clutch in nice. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, I can't slide the seat back that far with the mattress there. Huh, well, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. Thank you for your services. <laughs> I was about to get in the driver's seat, then I remembered. My glasses are back there, along with my wallet. All things being equal, it's a lot easier to go get stuff that I've forgotten in the back of Grace than Lucky. <laughs> it's a little shorter of a distance. <sighs> there we go. 
Can I slide this back anymore? Yeah, it's an air mattress. She'll go. Okay. Let's see how much worse this is getting this off with you guys there. Then Lucky's windshield blocker. Hold on. Come on to your butts. Aha. That wasn't terrible. Did it tickle? Put this back here. Hey, look at my little rolling condo on wheels. Okay. You know, I was just spouting how important it is, I think, to stay at a place that you can get into the washrooms nice and early. And here I am not even really having to go that bad this morning. That's because I learned don't drink too close to bedtime. If that seat's not going to go back, that can't go there either. Sad day. So it all works out kind of well because I was a silly neener head. <laughs> and as much as I think my order for another round is probably in my mailbox, it's not going to help me right now because the UPA store does not open till nine. So we need to make a quick stop to one, use the not really needing it quite yet Biffy and two, Maybe we better get a couple for the road. Strawberry, black cherry. <laughs> Gotta have that caffeine. And it's probably the cleanest form of caffeine I've ever put in my body. And by cleanest, I mean the energy drinks are just chock full of all sorts of nonsense, right? Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking them. I'll still drink them if that's all that is available. But I drank enough of them to realize that these locally owned and operated teas well, the company is locally owned and operated. The tease is what comes out of said operation. They're a little bit better for me. And I gotta say this right now, I do um, I read all the comments, you guys, and I gotta say, it's so kind that everybody is um, looking to give me advice uh, and worried about my well-being and whatnot, especially when um, when it comes to my sleep, where people were suggesting, well, you know, you, should, you know, don't drink so much caffeine um, before bed. And um, it's very kind that people are giving me that advice. I do have to say, I, I, I'm not as silly as I clearly come across on all, lots of things. I don't drink caffeine after midday, unless I'm not needing to go to bed early and I need to get something done and I'm feeling extremely fatigued where I think maybe some caffeine might help. That is a very rare occurrence. And ever since I switched over to these, well, I shouldn't even say ever since I switched over to these, but if I'm drinking something like that, whether it's this delicious Revita tea, or if it's a, an energy drink, I'm not also drinking coffee. You know what I mean? Because there's just, uh, there's only so much your little body can take. So don't worry, don't worry, darling. Okay, I gotta go get uh, things moved around, adjusted, and poked and prodded. Actually, I was gonna use that to smash cut to the next scene. However, I've already had some conversations with friends and I've been looking online and it still looks like the Golden Way is just as messed up. So they're starting avalanche control work in field at 1 p.m. It's 8.58 in the morning now. That's the shadow of me phone. Funny how that works when the sun's in front of you. And the road uh, between Golden and Revelstoke is still closed with an estimated open time of later today at 12 p.m. So now, of course, the rule of the dice is, is, is do I hit the highway and head for Golden, hoping to get past field before they close it for avalanche control work? And then just probably stay in Golden for the night and risk that incident not actually getting cleared up or, you know, the closure and it's still being closed the next day? Or do I just return from whence I came on that really long route from yesterday? Decisions must be made. Ooh, this wind has not gotten any better, holy Dana. But I have been needled and tensed and stretched and poked, feeling a little bit better. So strength is getting better and uh, all that good stuff. Got one appointment left with the physical therapist. Scheduled that for next week. The only appointment time she had was 7.40 in the morning. So I guess we'll have to make that work. And I will be back the day before that and uh, in an Airbnb. So I'm gonna have to book that as well because right now I'm heading back to BC today, obviously. We'll get to my decision in a minute. And then I'll be back on Monday. Today's Thursday. Yeah, I'll be back on the Monday. I'll be here for four days and I'll have to, I'll have to head back out. But surprise, surprise, mom and dad actually... Um, 
are coming back earlier than they initially thought. Well, actually, they're coming back later than they initially thought. They thought they would be back this Sunday or Monday, but now they're not coming back till Tuesday or Wednesday because of some sort of storms happening down in the States in the area that they're in as well, making travel a little bit more difficult. So it's going to be a full house while I finished, finished, <clears throat> Well, I finish Lucky, but it's nice because I, I had in my head that I only have the amount of time that they're gone to finish the build. But as I think I've mentioned before, my cousin very quickly pointed out just because they come home doesn't mean you have to stop your schedule, which is true. I'll actually be able to go a little bit slower while I'm in Calgary, not have to worry about rushing back for the cats and the plants especially. So everything's sort of coming full circle here, coming to an end in terms of the house setting. But we got a van to build and I'm very excited to, to get cracking at that. Like I mentioned, I just was out there with my friend and my little girl and I didn't do any work on the van at all, which was good for my back, bad for the progress on the van, but it is what it is. And now I get to live with that. <laughs> We're down to 28% oil life. I was talking in the last video about how I feel about oil changes and their schedules and all of that stuff. And since that video, I've clearly put on a little bit more mileage. We've lost some oil life, but I really don't think I have the time to do it here. Well, you know what? I suppose let's start driving and stop yapping so much. I suppose I could go get an oil change in Cranbrook. My plan, I'm looking at it. I really don't want to rush out of here. Like I, I got to get gas. Grace is dying of thirst. I got to get to my mailbox, load all that stuff up and then get on the road. I really don't want to rush. So that means going back the way I came yesterday, kind of, but like I mentioned, that's a, that's an eight hour drive. And I don't think I would be doing the entire thing tonight. By the time I get out into the shit storm, let's say it would be starting to get dark anyway. So my plan is to maybe make it to Cranbrook, BC tonight. And I was using the app iOverlander and apparently you can overnight one night in the parking lot of the home hardware store there. Home hardware, not Home Depot. So that could be fun to sort of um, explore and see. The temperature doesn't look like it's gonna be too bad there, down to about minus one, minus two in the early hours of the morning tomorrow. So that's, that's kind of perfect for slumbering in grace once more. I could get a hotel out there. One of the cheapest ones is like $80 a night after tax would be more like 109 with all those BC sales taxes. But why, why do that when I have everything I need right here? Hands on the wheel. So that's probably my plan. And then maybe there's a Mr. Loop or something in Cranbrook and I could get it done. I mean, again, I'd be paying those BC prices, but as opposed to lollygagging around here in the city, I could also drive by a Mr. Loop and just see. I could also just wait till I'm back next week because 28% is 28%. Maybe when we get gas, we'll check her oil and see how dark it is. First and foremost, let's um, let's go relieve the UPS store of some packages. I'm sure they're getting a little fed up with me. Probably not though, they're very nice people over there. Oh, it's so windy in Calgary today. Anyways, just filled Grace up, not too bad. I would call her empty. Um, the problem with these digital things is like she screams at you if you're going too fast and the gauge goes orange and says low fuel then you stop and you idle for a while and don't go anywhere and the gauge comes back up digital displays lovely um, but the range said she had about 53 kilometers left so I would call that empty and to fill her up we put in 90 hang on should have looked at my receipt oh I did not whoa Uh, 94 bucks to fill her up. So not too bad at about $1.39 a liter. Now we got to zip out of here and I checked her oil. It's, I mean, it doesn't look brand new, <laughs> but it's probably, it's probably good enough. I could probably get back here. So we'll make a judgment call in Cranbrook if that is indeed where we decide to stay. Um, but for now we got a full tank, so let's go get some mail and, uh, I guess hit the road. <clears throat> what do you say that? Like, it's like a smash cut to driving out into the wilderness. Nay, smash cut to packages. Ooh, but first, look at this guy. Check out the rack on it. Heck yes. 
My only issue with a rack like that is that you can't really, um, it doesn't appear like you could take the hard top off very easily. We're just gonna follow him and have a little parade of Jeeps. I can see a duck on his dashboard. Oh, he's turning. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks for letting me check out your rack. Pull it on in here. Now smash cut to packages. Packages. Brooklyn's car seat. You can hold said packages. And how annoying. Let's bitch about Amazon for a minute, shall we? Oh, and mostly just the inaccuracy of the will be delivered tomorrow moniker. I placed an order for some gas struts, which I believe I have, but also some big ass drawer slides for the back of Lucky. My plan is now to put two drawer slides back there. So I ordered 56 inch drawer slides, two pairs. And they all said delivered tomorrow, which was yesterday. The drawer slides, not only are they've been separated into two completely different orders, why? But they're not showing up in, until tomorrow. So, hashtag sad day. I was hoping to get that sort of like under the bed framework done before I came back here on Monday, but it is what it is. We'll call Amazon, you bastards! And we'll move right along and probably build the area where I want Penny's litter box to go. Ooh, that means you need to stop and get her food. Well, I know Cranbrook has that pet value. I can get food there, so we don't have to worry about it right now, although it'd be cheaper if I got it here. And then we could also look at litter boxes. Decisions must be made. Also, I ordered Revita tea, thinking it would be here, and it's not showing up until later today, so. We're gonna have to make this black cherry one last. It's still so early, it's only 10.30 in the morning. I get to Cranbrook at a decent clip, especially if the roads are well, clearer than they were yesterday. I did that final stretch under the cover of darkness, which I hate doing, but it wasn't that snowy and blowy once we got back into Alberta, so it wasn't too bad. Maybe actually instead of transporting a bunch of these boxes with me into British Columbia, maybe we'll stop and uh, kill some time and open up those packages. That way you can do some recycling before we hit the road. And I need to get something to eat. That's the one thing that I still need to work on with the Jeep. Like if I had my egg cooker with me, would have been great. I've got the vitamin. We could have hard boiled some eggs. Bob's your uncle. They did not bring my egg boiler <laughs> or my slow cooker or anything like that. So sad day. It's going to be a quick stop food, I guess for now, but that's all right. It's okay to indulge every once in a while. Speaking of this food stuff though, I'll tell you this, I, you know what I've noticed immediately? And it all comes down to me. It's not really, truly where I am, but I have noticed that when I am out in BC and I am on my own and zero distractions, I eat so much better. Not even like eat better, but I just like, I take care of myself better in the sense that I, I'm watching what I'm eating. I'm eating my eggs. I'm eating my yogurt. I'm not eating as much junk food. I'm not spending money outside of getting those very simple groceries. And as soon as I come back to the city, it's like fast food this, fast food that, carb, 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 spend money, go out to eat, do this. And it's just, I just gotta figure out a way to make those two realities merge, you know? All right, those are some blue recycling bins. Now, let's bring some packages up to the front. Let's start with, well, the first one that's here. Ooh, this might be, this is probably what I ordered. That's what it feels like. It feels like, ha ha, you get 15 inch, 100 pound gas struts. Hold those for me, will you, darling? We'll see what those are for eventually. And actually, I'm gonna be using, I should have ordered the second pair, but I don't know how big I need yet. Because I feel like there's gonna be a lot more struts in Lucky when I'm done. Okay, this one. Don't know who this is from. Is there a from tag? There it is. This comes from, hey, a spicy idea for your van. We watch you every day, Don and Diane from our channel. Beating back time. You don't have to say that. Sending good wishes your way. Well, I did say it, and thank you very much, Diane J. Austin. What? I see something about magnetics, and now I see something about herb jars. Ooh! Oh, cool! For like little like storage thingy majiggers for the wall of Lucky. That's not a bad idea. 
it's all like uh, they're just little jars and containers. You can put whatever you want in this plate. Obviously, there's um, 3M stuff here. Yeah, to stick to surfaces, and then the jars themselves magnetize on and I bet you they magnetize better when there's not a plastic bag in the way. Thank you very much you two. That's actually a great idea. I've wanted to always, well I haven't always wanted to, but I've always wondered could I put knives on a magnetic strip in a van? I mean my fear is pretty obvious. It would be interesting to see how well, I guess they don't have to hang on the wall. You could put them on a surface. But on the wall it would be so much better. Get stuff up off of, you know, like where I want my fridge to go. That's super cool. Thank you very much. I will definitely try to find a spot for them. I can't say I will. I will. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Ha! Huh, what is this? This comes from Kelly and Cindy in London, Ontario. Woo! Do I have my Leatherman on my hip? Oh, I do. Of course I do. Who am I kidding? Come on now. Pop this bad boy open. This is a personal package. No Amazon required. Let me see. Oh, that's stuff for Penny. Oh, and me. Yum. We got some maple syrup. Do I have any way of making pancakes? I mean, I've got my BioLite grill with me, which I would then need wood for. And I think my Jetboil stove's in here, but I don't have a bottle of propane in here. Also, they sent us some freeze-dried Pure Bites. Uh, you know, for, obviously for Penny. I mean, in a pinch, I suppose, if I was really hungry. It's only three calories per treat. Talk about eating healthy. We'll save these and try them with Penny. I can't remember if I've given her freeze-dried things before. Well, no, I know I have. I can't remember if it was her or Stella that was super picky about that stuff. Let's find a spot for that. And this box gets retired. Mmm, syrup. Yes, the box gets retired. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, you guys. And this is from, oh, this is heavy. Catherine, did you send me a brick? So this comes from Catherine Sprong. Sprong, there's no R, it's just Spong from Prince Rupert. Let's see what she packed away in the good protein box. She sent me the uh, protein powder last time. Did she just re-up me? Is that what this is? Now that I have my blend jet, which I don't have with me, of course. God forbid I bring it with me. Do I have to be super careful with this box? Don't mind me. I'm just sitting in my Jeep. Sound a box. She did re-up me. Did I pierce that? No, I didn't. Very cool, thank you, my dear. Oh, where is it? This is the, oh, creamy vanilla. That's new. Last time it was salted caramel and chocolate. This time it's creamy vanilla and chocolate. Mmm. I can put some of this in with my morning smoothies now that I'm in love with that blend jet. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, what's this? That's part of the box I saw it. Oh, I was wondering, why does it smell like laundry detergent in here? <laughs> she re up me with some of the laundry detergent sheets. Eco strips, if you will. Thank you, Catherine. And a very long letter, which I'm going to read right now here in Sunny Prince Rupert. I see that's how you ended it. Sunny Prince Rupert, is it actually Sunny Prince Rupert still, darling? All right, let me see here. Uh, hey, Matthew, hope this package finds you happy and well. I know I just said I was going to read it to myself, but let's do it together. My supplier seems to be out of salted caramel, she says, <laughs> which is a real snort off. That's a great expression. So this box is chocolate and vanilla only. If you aren't a fan of the vanilla, I guarantee I will. Please re-gift it to Amber or Lindsay or anyone who enjoys vanilla. This protein powder is superb, and as I am a vegetarian, sorry, don't apologize. It is a large part of my protein intake, and so far I feel great. I did order Revita, and OMG, hey, look at you go. Game changer for the afternoon blahs. Very cool. Oh, I'm so glad that you enjoyed the tea. My chocolate requirement has decreased significantly. Uh, the cherry is my fave, although the blackberry is a close second. I understand, yes. Uh, you need to try the mango one, darling. I don't know where it is. I'm still trying to get to the bottom of it. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, I well, maybe we'll find it tomorrow. You know what, we'll put a pin in that. Maybe we'll find it tomorrow. Uh, the personal touch from Carly was the clincher, although I am all about supporting Canadians as much as possible. Oh, that's cool, Carly sent you a video. That's great, I love the company. Great, love to hear it. Tell Penny that I am sorry there is nothing for her in this box, but it sounds like she is fighting her own entertainment, murdering mice, the poor silly little buggers. What self-respecting mouse hangs out where a cat is lurking? No kidding. All right. Thank you very much, Catherine. I appreciate that. I'm going to do a little bit of recycling, and I guess we should get on the road and uh, and get the, uh, the rolling condo on wheels where it needs to be, which sounds far more dramatic than it just needs to be with me wherever I go. Okay, I'm going to go do this. I was just cleaning out the boxes, doing the recycling, and kind of getting everything organized, getting these protein powders put into this uh, grocery bag that we had packed yesterday. I forgot that I made two sandwiches for my little girl, and she only ended up eating one. We st stopped for dinner somewhere else because I needed a breaky break. But let's see if this guy is still good. Hasn't been in a fridge for a while, but it's been in a Ziploc bag. That'll do in a pinch. That'll get me through. 
Okay, now we don't have to stop right away. If the Mona Lisa canvas ripped, I wouldn't care, cause I could picture you. If the Tower of Pisa finally tipped, well then you'd know how hard I fell for you. If the world stopped turning tomorrow, if it all fell into the sea, I'd let it sink to the bottom, cause I only care about one thing, you know. None of it matters as much as you matter to me. If the Big Bang Tower ceased to ring, it's okay, cause I could sing for you. If every flower went extinct, my heart would still be blossoming for you. If the world stopped turning tomorrow, if it all fell into the sea, I'd let it sink to the bottom, cause I only care about one thing, you know. None of it matters as much as you matter to me. No, none of it matters as much as you matter to me. If everything changed, I'd say the same Through any heartbreak, my love will remain If the world stopped turning tomorrow If it all fell into the sea I'd let it sink to the bottom Cause I only care about one thing you know. No, none of it matters as much as you matter to me. No, none of it matters as much as you matter to me. That is not a spot I could have pulled into with Lucky. <laughs> now, well, maybe. Now, if there was somebody parked in front of me, I wouldn't be able to get out. Anyway, the weather changed a little bit. And that highway, Highway 22 in Alberta, it is, uh, it's notorious for being windy. And today there was no exception. I've almost used half a tank just getting myself here to the Crow's Nest Pass. So this is like the last gas station, I think, before I hit the BC border. Is it more? No, it's the same price as it was in Calgary. So we will tippy top grace up here and then get back on the road. And right across the street, actually, come with me, won't you? <sighs> Don't hit the, don't hit the thing. Oh. Ah, but right across the street there is a place called the Rum Runner. It's up there with uh, Lindsay, Sadie, Amber, and Brooklyn last summer on the uh, the infamous Norbury trip. Our back just decided to say, you don't get to enjoy your vacation anymore. But at the time that we stopped, I was okay, and that place is spot on. So if you're ever in the area, I highly recommend giving it a shot. Yeah, I need my phone to pay for gas. Uh, oh, never mind. No tap. Can't use the phone if there's no tap. It doesn't fit in there. Anyway, this ESO station isn't as modernized as the one I stopped at in Calgary. Give her the C. C is in card. Everybody just calm down. Oh yeah, and it just is a, uh, I don't know, like a like a side note or whatever. These are the glasses I sat on in the last video and completely flattened a week on. They're still still doing well, so. Talk about maxing out your durability stat. Here comes that snow. 
All right. Into the mountains. interesting i came this way yesterday and um when you cross the border uh at the rogers well, not the rogers pass but on the trans canada highway it's like the alberta sign is there and then like i don't know 100 feet over the bc welcome sign is there here on this on the crow's nest highway which is highway three i just i passed the alberta sign way back there and there's quite a little bit before the bc welcome sign what is this like no man's land in between the two signs. I have no province right now. There's a beautiful, well, looking little like campground there called Island Lake Campground or Island Lake Provincial Park. But I mean, it says I'm entering Sparwood. So I guess I'm technically in BC, but there still hasn't been the uh, welcome to BC sign. It's coming up here and it's actually on this road. It's uh, it has a nice rest stop at it. I slept in Lucky here once. It's, it's a nice little pull off and there's washrooms and picnic tables and everything completely inaccessible this time of year, but still haven't, still haven't crossed that sign. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm in dead man's land, dead man's land, wait, no man's land. If I was looking at a, at a map really closely, I'd be in the black part of the borderline. I have to zoom in quite a bit to see it. Anybody out there know where it all actually starts and ends and begins and all that stuff? Also, it's just like, I'm just making the worst decision ever. I'm driving back into the winter storm. <laughs> there, the BC border sign is coming up there on the right. Uh, and it's a right-handed turn, obviously, to go into that rest stop, but yeah, you can't get in there right now. It's uh, a little snowed in, and there's the sign. I'd say that's a good uh, three minutes, two, three minutes of driving. No man's land. It's not as much. One of my really big supporters lives here. She is an absolute darling with a huge heart. Hi, Andrea. Sorry, I'm just passing by. But uh, if anybody wants to say hi to Andrea in the comments, she's out here somewhere in the, in the mountains of Fernie, hiding out, waiting to strike. No, she's somewhere. Never be sure where. I am going to continue on, though I had a little bit of a good rhythm going here. And it's not too much longer to Cranbrook. I think a time change is coming up soon too. Actually, that might be after Cranbrook. I don't know, it was yesterday that I came this way. I can't be expected to remember that.
I had to stop and do a little nerve flossing. <sighs> My leg was getting a little sore and it's, it's a different pain than like muscle. You can, and I'm getting really good at that kind of like noticing it when it happens and that nerve flossing usually, uh, usually does the trick. So also walking around will probably help. And I really like that I'm more and more that I do these trips into BC and these alternative routes and stuff. I'm starting to create like little memories at these stops. Like this rock right here, I can't even remember if there was this face on it last time or not. But I stopped here with the van and I actually, I brought Stella out. If you don't know who Stella is, um, she was my other cat. I used to have two in the van with me. I have her paw print around my neck and uh, I had her up on the rock. I mean, she was an old girl, so I wasn't, she was a really well-behaved cat too. She would never run away or anything like that. There's a whole video here on the channel where I take her down to a, a campground during closed season and she's out and she's just wandering around lucky. She does really good. And anyways, I had her up on the rock and she was just, we were just kind of taking a break and stretching our legs. And now I think about this rock as Stella's rock. So I don't know, it's cool to have little things like this along these, these routes where I'm creating memories and I'm not even aware that I'm doing it when it's happening. I don't know, it's, a, it's nice. I guess that's one of the benefits for my van life, sort of keeping me, keeping me in the same area all the time. Oh, stretch that leg out. Now's probably a good time to look for any other sort of like stray garbage I might be kicking around. I don't think it's too bad back here. God, you see it like this and it's like, how does he fit back here? <laughs> uh. I'm actually, after that first night in Grace, I was actually pretty disillusioned. I was un uncomfortable and cold and grumpy because I was uncomfortable and cold, but it's actually worked out, uh, it's worked out quite well in this second, this second sleep and this upcoming third sleep I'm actually looking forward to. Anyways, I don't think there's actually very much garbage in here. Some receipts in the other door, that's about it. I, can I please get a medium white hot chocolate? Uh, medium white hot chocolate? Yes, please. Anything else? No, that's it. Two sixty, thank you. Thank you. I can't help myself. It's a rainy day. I just landed in Cranbrook. We make a little tasty treats. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Day, afternoon, whatever it might be. And directly behind me is a pet value. So now I'm gonna rip over there uh, so I don't forget to get Penny's food before I leave. Then I'm gonna figure out a place for me to eat. Oh, and wouldn't you know it, there's the home hardware. Maybe we drive over there first and see. Actually, no, I'll get Penny's food first. And then I wanna, drive, I wanna drive over and see. And apparently, according to iOverlander, there's signs in the parking lot that say Overnight parking is allowed, but I may also still go in and talk to them just to make sure. Mostly because this isn't my province. Right. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm sure spending a lot of time in it lately. <laughs> well, it doesn't bode well. Home hardware is to the right, pet values to the left. That sign is really trying to rain on my parade. You son of a. First things first. Good value back there, and wouldn't you know it, I just got the alert from the UPS store. My order of Revita tea has arrived. Not my massive drawer slides though, so. Mm. Okay, and not only do I got some cat food for the tubby cat, <laughs> but I picked up two more litter pans. These, are, these seem to be smaller than the one she is currently using. So I'm hoping that these are gonna work uh, with the rebuild on Lucky. I did ask her that, you know, to make sure, are they returnable? If it turns out they're too big or whatever, she said yes, and I can even return them in Alberta. Just don't put any poop in them. Obviously, or litter for that matter. But no, it shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to put this receipt. Mm, yes, right there. All right, let's go check out Home Hardware and see if they're gonna let us have a sleepover in their parking lot. How exciting. Quality content. Quality content. 
Walmart is to my left and they got signs everywhere telling people to F off. Let's check and see. Uh-oh, I see one of those no overnight parking signs. Yeah, this is no overnight parking. Oh, wait a second. Look at this. This yellow one here. No overnight parking. But we go over here. And we got, we got a sign here. Overnight parking for campers and truckers is welcome. After all, you are our customers. 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. Huh. Well then, I mean, there's plenty of spots. I am still gonna go in. That sign is nice and welcoming as it is. It really makes me wanna go buy something from them. <laughs> so, all right, let's go in and talk to somebody just to make sure. I'm just trying to think, is there anything that I need? Oh, there is something that I could get for Lucky. Okay, let's go talk to somebody and then we'll purchase something. I gotta stop buying things. There's not as much room in Grace as there is in Lucky. A little chilly, I could probably stand and put my jacket on as well as I walk away from Grace. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. I'm just wondering, the signs outside mm -hmm. allow overnight parking? Uh, okay? Yes, just on this side over there. The far side over there? Yeah. And it's starting at 6 p.m. Yeah. How late are you guys open to make purchases? 6 uh, o'clock. Right until 6. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Perfect. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Appreciate it. Ooh, bonus. I'm on the trail. What more do you need? Um, oh, chilly. But there was the white balance on the phone making it look chillier than it actually is. Anyway, for those, there we go. Yeah, screws, obviously. Gonna need some big boys for the uh, box I'm gonna build and the bed frame and all of that. And for those that might not know, <clears throat> I may or may not have backed Lucky into the garage while my Thule was open. <laughs> and that may or may not have resulted in a huge crack in the top of the Thule. I actually haven't looked at it too closely, but I think I'm running low on this stuff anyway. This marine grade silicone is great. And my plan is I'm just gonna sort of line the broken bits up and, and then probably like Gorilla Tape over them once it dries. But that sounds like a future Matthew problem. For now, I'm gonna get on my phone and look up places to eat in Cranbrook where I can actually like go in, sit down and have a meal as opposed to like hitting McDonald's or something. And then maybe even taking a movie tonight that uh, One Love, the Bob Marley story movie is out. That could be fun. Last time I stopped here for this long in Cranbrook was back in the summer and I saw Fast X at the theater here. I haven't seen the Bob Marley movie yet, but I'm betting it's probably just a a little bit better than Fast X. Although Fast X was very fun, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Let's find a place for some chow. <laughs> Hi guys. The whole man a baby, I think. You guys are getting a little wet in the rain. Hi. Grubs. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, kind of behind them all here. <sighs> Beautiful for me. Lunch for other people, I'm assuming. Okay, speaking of lunch. Just driving around Cranbrook right now. There's the Key City Theater over there. That's what it says. But I think that's probably more like performing arts. Now I'm in a forced left turn lane. Great! I've done an about face and now I finally get to drive through the Cranbrook sign. It's right here. Aha! Uh -huh. Couldn't see it very well, but Grace is going under it right now. I don't know. This is a green light. That was a turning lane. Did I go left here? Where is everything? I guess, oh, that was downtown Main Street. Bye bye! <laughs> that is one way to kill time. Although I should probably be resting my leg instead of 
gallivanting around Cranbrook. I think I'm just going to... Hey! What is this? Well, that used to be something. Right over yonder here. This definitely used to be a theater. Cinema 1, Cinema 2? It doesn't look like they're showing any movies right now, though. Love the aesthetic of old theaters like that. Well, looks like it's going to be the theater at the mall for this boy. But before that, enough driving around. I am a simple man. <sighs> Probably wasn't supposed to turn there. But here we are at good old Eastside Mario's. I'm not actually going to stay parked right here at the sign, but yeah, ever since they got rid of the location in Shaughnessy in Calgary, I've had to go all the way to the north end of the city to get my Eastside Mario fix. It isn't very convenient for me. So here we are, and it's right on the main drag. Why not indulge? It'll be my last, we'll, co we'll call it, we'll call it my cheat evening. This and then a movie. Here we go. Every day is a cheat day when you live your life on your terms. Um, ooh, there's like covered parking. That's so fancy. Is this where we put Grace? Why not? This will be a good opportunity, get some food, and get some editing done. Ah, 50-50 shot. Let's get some grub. Well, I'm ready for a nap after all of those carbohydrates. But that's not what we're doing. We get back in Grace. Look at her, tucked away in her little shelter there. I wonder what this used to be back in the day. It was one of those old, like, roller skate drive through things. Probably not, but either way, back into Grace. Uh, I need to go find a place to walk around. That's what I need to do. I don't really particularly want to get wet. The mall's not that big. I just want to walk so I'm not sitting after eating all of that food. I'll figure it out. And then I think I may just take in that that movie later this evening. That's not for a couple hours though. So, in the meantime, put everything back from whence it came. And by everything, I mean the laptop. Done. I really need to brush my teeth. And I need to rub my lens. Well, that made it 50,000 times worse. Hang on. There you go. Want to know how your lens is dirty? Every single light has a lens flare on it. Need our self checkout. Please tell us how we did today. Thank you for using our self checkout. <clears throat> well, so much for being able to walk around the small mall. Forgot I'm in small town BC. Though it doesn't look that small. Everything's closing. Uh, but at least I was able to get some band-aids before shopper's done. It's funny because the theater is in the mall, so... I guess we'll drive around to the back. <clears throat> the mall closing early got me thinking, what if Walmart closes early? Because that's this my biffy. It's in the same parking lot as the home hardware. And sure enough, it closes at 9, which is better than 6, but it'll be closed by the time I get out of the movie. So I guess it's a good thing I'm going to the movie theater because their washrooms will be the final washrooms of the evening in order to hang wang before retiring. Okay, well, we'll sneak around to the back of the, what is it, the Tamarack Mall? Find a place to park for now, maybe play some Switch till it's time to wander on in for the movie. There's a nice little river just over here. It's where I parked Lucky in the shade the last time I came to this theater. It's not quite as picturesque this time of year. Yeah, I'm probably still gonna get popcorn, but couldn't be helped. Got those little like tooth sweaters happening. Mm.
the snow has arrived in Cranbrook. <laughs> Just killing some time, playing switch here. Toss that in the back now. Looking good, looking good. And we're gonna go check out the Bob Marley movie and use the biffy before we come back to the Irish Pirate Queen. All right, Grace, Lucky behaved herself. You do the same. <laughs> it's really pretty snowfall, and it's not that cold. Getting hunkered down. It is cold AF. Got my nice fancy clutch presser on. Gonna leave Grace run for a while to warm up the interior. One window left to block off, and then we're gonna get inside. It stopped snowing, obviously. It's no longer beautiful out here, but the snow put us all in the ice. <laughs> Grace could barely get traction in too high, so perfect time to just get inside and stay warm. Hop in, <laughs> take off one shoe, <laughs> bury it, take off two shoes, bury it on the side, shut the door, no problems. <sighs> All right, tucked in, let Grace run for another few minutes to get some more heat in here. We got 20 watts being sucked out of the Vitamin, we can do that for another 40, well nine hours. All right then, thank you Vitamin. And I think I'm just going to enjoy some Nintendo here for a few minutes, and then we'll try to get a good night's sleep. Oh yes, and of course, we've got the tea for the morning time. Too much stuff in here already. <sighs> okay, night. <laughs> 